Hi, my name is Catherine Roseland here with Board Game Geek TV at Spiel 2013. I'm sitting here with William Niebling from Zvezda Games, and he's going to talk about the new game, Battle for Oil. All right. So think back to 1990, right, right around the uh, Desert Storm, the first Gulf War. Yep. Now, in our history, by that time, the Soviet Union had sort of declined. There wasn't a whole lot of danger that they were going to interfere with that war. But in this timeline, the Soviet Union is still very strong, very powerful, and very aggressive. Okay. So when we start messing around in the Middle East, they decide that they're going to get involved too. Okay. We like to say that the Cold War got hot. Okay, so, so it's an alternative history, basically. Exactly. Okay. It's an alternative, near-modern military history board game uh, using Svezda's award-winning Art of Tactics system. Uh, if you're not familiar with that system, it uses these special yeah. unit cards and every unit in the game has its own unit card. The unit card has all of the abilities of the unit on the front side, and all of the orders, oh, I have it backwards, the abilities on the front side, and the orders on the back side. The way the Art of Tactic plays, each player will simultaneously assign orders to all of their units, okay. secretly from their opponent. All right. Then once all the orders have been assigned, they're resolved simultaneously as well. So there's as no happen in an actual war. Exactly. Yeah. There's no downtime between turns. There's no waiting on your opponent. You're always involved in the action, just like in a real battle. Exactly. Now, because it's a near modern game, this gives us an opportunity to introduce some new concepts to the art of tactics system that weren't present in the earlier uh, games in that series. Uh, for example, we have our beautiful helicopters. It's a fantastic piece. Uh, show that there. And because of the nature of helicopters, they have a lot of mobility. They can transport troops quickly from one part of the battlefield to another. Uh, and of course, they have a lot of powerful weapons that they can feel. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we also, of course, have modern tanks, modern infantry, uh, and special rules for warfare in the desert, uh, since this part of the game uh, is set in the Middle East deserts. Uh, now, the game just released last week. Uh, it's on its way to the U.S. It'll take it a little time to get there. But uh, you can look out for a copy soon. Very good. Yep. Um, it comes with everything you need to play, but you can also expand it by adding more unit uh, models. Uh, the unit models are very inexpensive, uh, and they will continue to expand the line with more and more variety of uh, different types of military equipment from that era. Great. Uh, now, are there going to be new boards released as well, or are there several boards that are released with the basic the, game? Or? The basic game includes six boards, as well as a number of these terrain tiles okay. that you can use to customize the battlefield based on the scenario that you're playing. Uh, eventually, we will introduce additional expansion box sets that will have different map tiles and uh, boards that you can use for mm -hmm. different types of battles. So, is it two players, I'm assuming? Or? Two players or teams. Or teams, yeah. Uh, what, one of the things I like to do is divide one of the sides between a number of players. And, you know, like instead of being a general, you might be a colonel. Yeah. So you only have part of the battlefield under your direct control. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And how long will a game typically take to play? Typically, a game will take 60 to 90 minutes. Yeah. Uh, obviously, a bigger scenario with more units will take longer. Uh, a small introductory scenario that might only have three units on a side, you could probably play in half an hour or 45 minutes. Okay, thank you very much. That was Battle for Oil from the Zesda Games. Look out for your copy soon. Thank you. That was great. Oh. Yeah, these are some of the expansion models. That are already out? Uh, these are out, uh, and then there will be additional ones in the future. Uh, so here's one of our helicopters. Uh, some infantry and uh, oops, sorry, <laughs> it crashed. Uh, and there's one of the uh, Abrams tanks. Um, is there uh, one figure in each of these, or is there a few in there? Uh, it depends on on the set. Uh, this is one tank or one helicopter. This is an entire squad of infantry. Very nice. Uh, it just depends on the nature of the unit will determine what's included in the box. Exactly. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.